present. All right, wow. welcome back. How can yeah. you not smile listening to the four freshmen, right? <laughs> oh, they're awesome. Yeah, we're going to be talking with them in a few minutes. But first, we have to talk with our very own Zach Ritchie. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I headed off to York, and you know there's not too many boot and shoe repair shops mm -hmm. around anymore. But this one has hit the ground running for 94 years. Oh, wow. So let's take a look. Whether it's a little fix here. It's pretty hard to make this exciting. Or a stitch on a shoe that's seen better days. It would be surprised that how many dogs help us out. York Boot and Repair has put their best foot forward for 94 years. It changes every day. The business was started by the Garner family and run by them for three generations until Randy and Tammy Obermeyer decided to follow in their footsteps. Come down, spend an evening with them, and we're here. That was in 1998, so one could say the shoe fit. You didn't know if people were going to come, if it was going to work. But York Boot and Repair did more than just get a foot in the door. They now do everything from selling new shoes to repair work like soling and restitching to working on leather. We could probably go through the alphabet and find something at every letter that it seems like we do. Well, Randy and Tammy enjoy most of the repair work. They like creating custom orthotics the most. When we're walking through a mall, I'm, I'm watching and diagnosing how people walk. Customers walk in the door from everywhere, from Beatrice to Belleville and Aurora and Hastings. It's always a joy to come here to see. I like to come and see Tammy and Randy is one of the main reasons, and I enjoy shopping here. And We're very fortunate to have a store with this much inventory you know, in our area. Using a machine from the 1930s. It's still pretty neat that that old machine is still thumping along. York Boot and Repair knows what it's like to walk in someone else's shoes and to keep them going every step of the way. For this week's Made in Nebraska, Zachary Chi, York. Great story. Three generations ago, that started. Wow. Exactly. And now they're continuing the legacy mm -hmm. that the Garner family started. Yeah. And you think about it, you know, there's not too many of these people doing this type mm -hmm. of leather work and shoe repair anymore in the state. It's kind of a lost art. And yep. um, Tammy and Randy, they both they have a couple of kids, and they, I guess they're not interested in it. So they do want to keep the store mm -hmm. and the business nice. going. And, you know, they did recently win, like, a, a legacy award, too. Yeah. So for being around so long and they say you, customers come in from all over the place from Beatrice I to Aurora, it. York, Central City. They have a wide range going mm -hmm. for that customer repair work. That is awesome. Because when you need them, you need them and yeah. if they're there then... Well yeah, yeah, if you've got a favorite you know, pair of shoes or 30 like my mom does, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you've got to keep them going. Yeah, that's <laughs> normal. <laughs> a good story. Uh, How'd you hear of them? Um, a viewer nominated them for a story. He's a viewer from York, and unfortunately I forgot his name. So if you're seeing this, thank you for that idea. And you guys can always send me your ideas at zrichiatnebraska.tv or newsnebraska.tv. would love to hear from you. And I've got a few more stories from York that I need to hit up pretty soon. Beautiful. I go to fun. York. I go yeah. to York. Thanks, Zach. We appreciate that. You're welcome. And we will be back with none, none other than the four freshmen in just a moment. Stay with us.